Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Washington Redskins. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday Night Football. And on the call, as always, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thanks, Coach. Well, the sun has gone down and the mercury going down as well. To be expected, I guess, here on an autumn night just outside of D.C. at FedEx Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Green Bay Packers and the Washington Redskins. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Redskin team as they interplay here. They come in in the midst of a pretty bad stretch here. Losers are five straight. So many different reasons teams hit the losing skids, but the best way out of it, something has to happen positive early in the game. Meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, they've come in on a nice run of recent form. Four wins out of five. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So here comes the Packers' offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by their highly decorated quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Well, in prep for this one, it was fun talking with the defensive staff because they had to review last week's game tapes where he threw for over 400 yards, and they started ho-humming that performance, and finally you said, he threw for over 400. That's got to be significant. That's why he won the NFC Offensive Player of the Week. They better be careful what they wish for ho-humming. He might do it again here in this one. The numbers for Adams in last week's game. Four catches, 125 yards. And he leads the NFL in receiving yards as we come down the home stretch. Weather may be changing across the country, but his consistency remains the same. Throwing on second and three. Rodgers, and this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. False start offense. So that'll back him up five. Here we go. Yeah. 56 to Mike, boys. 56. Check, 56. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, dude. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. The first carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Out of the pistol, the give to Jones. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. 
And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here we go, here we go. Check 31, check 31. They'll run it with Williams. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. A look now at our starting defense. They sit at number 20 in the NFL right now against the run. This is an area of the game that they definitely have to improve because right now, against the pass, top 10 in the league. But against the run, that's where the struggles have come in. You've got to find a way to make sure they stop runners before they get started. Second down and goal. Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Jay Sternberger, his second touchdown on the season. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there, that nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out comes the Redskins offense as they get their first shot. They are led out by the 15th overall selection in 2019, former Ohio State Buckeye Dwayne Haskins. If you just break it down in individual terms, he played really well last week. Zero interceptions, three touchdown passes. Not a whole lot more he could have done to win that game. But you know something that's funny when we talk to him, all he focused on were throws he missed, yeah. other opportunities that didn't get done. Good sign of a leader. Great sign of a leader because they didn't win, and that's all he cares about. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. Well, that was big right there because they're in the bottom five in the league and converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. That throw good for four. It's second down. And one of the big bodies helping out this offense is your boy, Upati. And all he wants to do is have running plays called, fire out, and smack people. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On play action, Haskins. Complete, Richardson has it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 42. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. We'll take a look at the starters here defensively for the Packers. They were very strong last week in the win over Carolina. And it was the pass rush that really keyed their victory. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Haskins going to throw again. And this one complete to Reed. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. 
Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And go. he'll be corralled go. out across midfield down to the 45. 13 yards, first down Packers. Rodgers throwing quickly out to Adams. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. On second and 11 now, Rodgers, and that's complete to Adams. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 16. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. Rodgers will bring him up to the line, first and 10. And he's completed all seven of his passes thus far. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. And he held on to it, but he probably shouldn't have as they get him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. And on this play, the read for the quarterback was the defensive end, and he was totally focused on the quarterback. He should have given it off inside to the running back. Instead, he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, it creates a penalty. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Throwing is Rodgers. This is caught. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Two touchdown passes now here in this first quarter for Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. It's never fun for a defense to run on the field knowing that they're having to defend a short field. Just the idea of trying to limit an offense in that position, daunting for a defense. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the result, a Green Bay score. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. 
A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Gets around him, and he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's gonna be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now Haskins to throw it. And he finds the tight end, Reed. A look at the numbers from a week ago for Reed. 12 catches, 116 yards. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Haskins will throw, and that is incomplete. Yeah, good game catching the ball in the backfield a week ago, and they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting has taken over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limit it to just short runs, because he can really impact this offense. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Rodgers going to throw. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six under 10 under 10 this is jones takes this one up past the 20 after he's able to make a man miss it's a five yard game but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming they'll try and run for it with jones Offense. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Redskins on third down, putting an extra man here in the secondary. Shotgun now for Rodgers. It's caught here by Adams. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Haskins looking to throw on first down and lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10 once again from the 28. Here's Haskins to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. The Redskins on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. Now Haskins, third and long. 
Caught on the right side, Reed. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first-half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Here's Rodgers to throw. And that is incomplete. Not sure what you're thinking here, partner, but I believe the officials have done a nice job here getting together and then coming out and indicating that there was a receiver in the area. Absolutely, and he was in the area. Correct call made, no grounding. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start the drive with Love here. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards there, good for a Redskin first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. On first down, this is Geis. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. From midfield now, Haskins. Throw left side is complete to Reed. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Redskins on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's the perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why, looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. But today's NFL does tell us one thing. If that guy doesn't play well, <laughs> their team's not going to win. And right now, he's got his team in the lead. And now they'll look to extend that lead. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point that continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. They stay on the ground. This time, it's Williams. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Now a first down carry by Jones. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. 56, Mike, 56, right there, right there. 56. From the 31, Rodgers got a man. It's Tanyan complete. 
The Packers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And Hopkins' kick is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Yeah, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. We know, but don't let me finish. Okay, my bad. And you're down three scores. <laughs> and the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Now it's Haskins. Off to Geis on the screen. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. To throw again on second down. Haskins, that'll be caught right side by Reed. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Tight right, tight right. Hey, 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 we got three, we got three. Third down, here's Haskins. And this one complete to Reed. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open. He finds a way to pick up a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Again on second and 10, it's Haskins. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, and that'll make it third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Haskins, that's gonna be caught by Richardson. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 38-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Geis. And an alley to run. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. On first down, it's Haskins. Throw left side, complete. It's Love. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make it second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Not even a chance to pitch that one as he swallowed up in the backfield. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. 
And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. He was trying to get that to Bryce Love out of the backfield. And it's second down. Second and ten now, Haskins. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Haskins back to the air. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. And this one is right through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14 play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on them. I, was, I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. There's really no reason to change what they've been doing to this point. They've got the lead. They've looked good this first half. I agree with you totally, and a lot of coordinators, play callers feel exactly the same way. Until you stop what I'm doing, why should I make any changes? But there are a few that kind of outguess themselves or try to outguess the opponent, and they try to consider what they would do to take things away <laughs> and go to those plays right away. It'll be fun to watch when they get to the second half to see which way they go. Yeah, but to this point, it certainly hasn't been broke. We'll see if they try to fix anything. Throwing is Rodgers, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. To throw again, Rodgers. And he will find the open man, it's Jamon Moore. The Packers gonna use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And he finds his tight end, Graham. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Rodgers again now. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. And they just keep marching right along, first down on a pickup of eight there. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. Third down here. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Rodgers. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Montez Sweat. He's the culprit. Causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 54 yards away. Oh, baby, that's all 
So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. And our game has been Aaron Rodgers, who was on target in the first half. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already. And that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, do I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. They run the counter. It's Love. He'll get three up to midfield. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Haskins on third down. Jordan Reed has it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 29-yard line. Now Haskins on first down, and he slings one that's incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Second and 10. Here's Haskins again. And he fires one incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Throwing again. Here's Haskins. And that's incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Packers now to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Ball start, offense. That one on Brian Bulaga. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now Rodgers. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. 
It'll be a gain of 11, and it'll be third down. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back <laughs> one more time. Didn't work there. Get 51 get get yards on the punt there. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Zadarius Smith make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Now Haskins to throw on second down. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though. That'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Now a handoff, Geis going right. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Haskins, third and long. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. Ouch, you thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. Now this throw caught left side. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Back to the ground game now with Geis. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second and five now. Haskins, and this one complete to Reed. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Third and two, now Haskins. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. You just held on to the football too long there, Charles. That's point blank, right? Yeah, I agree with that totally. You've got to have that internal clock that goes in your head that says either get rid of the football or flush and go and use your legs and try and pick up the first down. I think he hung in there too long, and the blitz got to him. Now on comes the Washington field goal unit. And his kick here is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat. 
but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. And no run back here. Let's this go. will be a Let's touchback, go. and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if he can drive the bus here again on this drive. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Adams hauling it in from Rodgers. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins' 32-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Rodgers now five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking for his running back, Aaron Jones, that time. And that'll bring up second down. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. The connection made. It's Graham. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 16. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Ten more there and another first down. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones, his first touchdown on the year. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Hopkins with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Let's go. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> bash. I don't know about that. Bash. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Haskins looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Love. Oh, yeah! 
partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. Devontae Adams in the Packer offense heading back out. He's knocking on that door for a 100-yard game. And what receiver doesn't want to be part of the Century Club? Every receiver, when the game starts, wants to have 100 or more yards next to his name. It's a badge of honor, but it also shows that you're helping out your team. And he has certainly been helping out his team so far. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Rodgers now on first down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here's Jones. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Packers on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and eight. Rodgers now to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And here come the Redskins now. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives here like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, Hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Third down, here's Haskins. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was a type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted, and if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Good open field tackling there, a 50-yard punt, followed by just a one-yard return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You just think now the ball comes loose and the Redskins scoop it. And they have possession and they have it at the 38 yard line. We're gonna shut you down. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. 
What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing now is Rodgers. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. 10 yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock, and this is second and less than a yard. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Blitz coming and down he goes. Ryan Kerrigan able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. You give them a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Looking to throw again on second down. Haskins. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one. And it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. That's going to be caught by Richardson. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Again on second and 10, it's Haskins. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough, he's short of the marker. Face mask, defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Following the penalty, it's Geis. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. From the 29, Haskins. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. It'll be love to try and get the first. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out. Maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. 
So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. This is taken at his four. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 39. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. On second down, it's Jones. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it third and 13. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Monte Nicholson picks it. Well, this D, particularly the secondary, has been picked apart at points here tonight. They finally, though, get to the quarterback, get a pick. And we know this about him. He loves night games, loves the spotlight, loves being the center of attention. I will bet you that he ran off the field almost chuckling to himself. They finally got one. They finally got me. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. And I know it's hard in live action, but you've got to keep your hands away from the face. That's a 15-yard penalty. You work on it all the time, making sure your target area is lower and trying to keep your hands away from the face mask so you don't get the big penalty. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now Haskins to throw it. And this one's incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there. And that'll bring up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Haskins. Complete. Richardson has it. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and the Packers pick it up. And he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. This fielded at the two. 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now Haskins on first down. And that'll be incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Here's Haskins to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Throwing again on second down. Haskins, Brian has it. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. To throw on third down. Haskins, he's going to loft one deep left side here. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. On first down, it's Haskins. It's caught by Bryant. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now it's Haskins. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. We better not. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. From the gun, Haskins on third down. And that will be incomplete. The first defensive back taken in this year's draft. Darnell Savage there to knock that one away. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Haskins will throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Again, it's Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Rodgers throwing here. Yeah, 
Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. Got a man. It's Brown. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it second and 12. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And this one boiled down in the end, Charles, to simply too much Aaron Rodgers. We've seen this many times before, haven't we? And I'm sure we'll see it again in the future. <laughs> extreme confidence in his abilities, extreme confidence in his teammates, never thinks a game is out of reach because his right arm can equalize anything a defense can put out there. So for Green Bay, they close out this first half at a very solid 6-2. and two. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Washington, the struggles intensify as they drop to 2-6 and six now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.